Hey guys, about 0.4 seconds has passed since the end of last episode. At least for me, I wouldn't know about you guys. Anyway, as stated in the last episode, this episode is building a porch or deck. Uh, yeah, the deck thing will be from the first two posts up to here and also extend out to the side of the building. Got a bunch of work to do, so let's just get to it. Looks like rain. Oh boy. Looks like thunder. Anyway, first things first. Need to lay some uh, plastic coating or plastic tarp here and then get some sand to cover it. I don't know about you guys, but the sound of thunder is super relaxing. As long as you don't die, that would be kind of bummer.
this is a pretty good test to see how my uh, water diversion system will work. I mean, usually we don't get such heavy rains. And this is pretty extreme level right here. So far, I can see that the water is going downhill nicely. Not really uh, letting up. This is uh, pretty bad. At least the cabin is nice and dry. Definitely letting up now. I'm gonna pick this up tomorrow, this is even too ridiculous for me. The weather is definitely better today. So I think this uh, slope performed pretty well did get some mild wash away but I just need some grass here and then I'm good to go so grass will hold the soil nicely together to make sure that there's no wash away but anyway back to work So I only have like this much of the stuff remaining. I do hope it's enough. Still not enough. This is gonna be a great mixture of plastic wraps. Wish I had some uh, black plastic. Then I could make this area into a Estonian flag. Blue, black, white. But I don't have any black plastic. The only purpose of this thing is to make sure that no grass will grow under the deck. It's a bit difficult to mow the grass under the deck with a lawn tractor. And the purpose of this sand is to nicely keep that plastic wrap in place. Right now these uh, pillars, they don't really seem like much. But if you watched my last video, then, then you know that these pillars go quite the way down. So the footing under the pedestal 
alone is already almost a meter and this pedestal itself is also roughly a meter. Could probably even park a tank on here and it would not go anywhere. Next up, something that I've been wanting to do, well, since yesterday, but the weather was kind of screwy on that part. And that is the construction of this deck. Let's start off by getting a bunch of lumber here and let's make the frame happen. Each of these lumber pieces will be jointed together. This though kind of backfired on me. So initially I was actually planning to put these supports this way. So I could connect this end against here. And with that I was thinking I wouldn't need to have two extra pillars here. But a while ago I did get the decking material. I'm really good at parking stuff. This is great. Oh boy, that was hard. Got my decking boards nicely. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love the smell of this pressure treated lumber. It just smells so good. Anyway, for this pile, I paid about 600 euros. That would be about 700 American Eagles. So I got this pretty cheap, to be honest. So this is kind of like an unsorted quality. There's everything here. A, B, C. But I don't really care about that. The one bummer side that these boards have are the different lengths. So there's a bunch of different lengths here. I hope that's not gonna be a problem. The reason why I decided to go with this pile was obviously the price. So 1.5 euros per meter. If I wanted to get the average quality with all the same lengths, I would have paid 2.5 euros per meter. So about like 70% more. I think this was worth it. So I got the new thing here, finally. I mean, it was seriously overdue. This thing was not broken or anything. The thing is like 10 years old now. 
and yeah having two of everything is a lot better than just having one of anything let's do a quick test which is better three two one I'm not surprised, I think it has a bit more power. Bunch of more joints to do though. This is gonna take some time. I got a feeling somebody is gonna make barbecue today. Now I need to figure out how to support this beam. I do have one idea. Uh, let's try that. It should work. Right now it seems this sketchy solution should do the trick. Anyway, next up I need to make sure that everything is nicely level. Then I can apply some oil and anchor these things to the pillars. Pillars of hope. Well, other than the timber being a bit warped, this thing is actually pretty level. Let's just pick a random spot. Like my boot is kind of failing. Uh, oh, okay. That's not good. Mm hmm. 
So yeah, this thing looks pretty level, which is great. Before I do any oiling here, let's also finish uh, this side. Next up, I need to anchor these things to the pillars. Not gonna go a bit overboard here. One corner for each pillar should be fine. If I can, I'm gonna kind of zigzag so the corner will not be on the same side on each pillar. Made by Makita from China. The head of the socket just snapped off like nothing. Utterly useless. Let's try a Milwaukee dip. I wonder how I can clean this out. And that was easy. So I pre-drilled all these holes. So I also added this uh, thing on all the spots where the timber is touching the concrete. So this is like some kind of uh, sand, tar, paper, this stuff. So what it's supposed to do is to make sure that the moisture from the foundation will not be in direct contact with the lumber. I'm gonna use this stuff. This is literally old engine oil from a bunch of diesel engines. It's completely fine to use motor oil on outside woodworking. I wouldn't recommend to use it inside, you know, to oil your inside walls or something like that. Completely out of the question. For outside woodworking, this is completely fine. Used engine oil is a really good wood preservative. And this way I can also recycle the stuff. Other than coating lumber with it, it's completely useless. Yeah, black gold. I mean, the only argument that I find against this is that it's gonna smell bad. All the durances and decks I have done, I've used this stuff and I can smell the oil after maybe like a week or two. Plus I think it looks really cool. Gets this kind of tarry, solid black flavor to it. I have to make sure the lumber is nice and dry though or this stuff will not go into the wood properly.
the oil is doing a pretty good job. Yeah. Yeah. I have a feeling my concrete is quite tough tomato. At least drilling the thing is quite hard. I absolutely love this hammer in screws or nails, but I absolutely hate them at the same time. So this hammer in nail is not made out of the same stuff as a regular screw is. I think it's more like a regular nail. It bends so easily. If you do not clean out the hole properly, you will never hammer this thing in here because it will just bend so easily. For example, I did have a bunch of failures like this when anchoring this side to the pillars. Next up, the main decking support. Kinda kicking myself right now. When I was doing this lumber, I should have made the damn logs shorter. Right now, I'm just gonna get so many stupid offcuts. Two stupid things win stupid prices. Wonder what the gap should be. I'm thinking like half a meter maybe. Wait a minute, I have a bunch of text to check out the gap. 57. 57 seems pretty solid. 50. Yeah, 50 seems pretty solid. I'm gonna go with 50. Mm. Fifty-one. Close enough. I should probably oil the underside. It's gonna be a bit annoying to do once I anchor them in place. And this should be straight enough. I'm kind of eyeballing this thing here. Wait a minute. I need to turn them upside down. I'm really glad I noticed this before I finished the whole thing. Do stupid things, win stupid prices. Man, I'm really impressed how this thing works. So small, compact and really packs a punch. Wonder why it's red though. Usually Makita stuff is blue.
For a moment there I was thinking I'm gonna need to do an oil change on my Yanmar. I was, I was kind of running out of this stuff. I would say about 15 liters maybe. So saved almost 100 bucks here and got to recycle some of this stuff. Plus I absolutely love how dark it looks. Literally looks like burnt wood and it's gonna last forever. I mean, for, for me, this porch is finished. I wouldn't need any decking material on here. But I think it's kind of unsafe for kids and stuff. So I should add some decking material on here. might actually make it. Oh yeah. I think I'm pretty much finished with the, with the supports for the deck. Yeah, I think it looks pretty solid. Anyway, next up is the decking material. So let's uh, roll some dunes and just plow through this part.
this is really my fault because when I was digging these trenches I should have made sure that the trenches go pretty straight but for some weird reason the footing for these pillars shifted outwards from this end maybe I was high when I was operating the excavator whatever I think it's fine I'm gonna leave it like this don't care gonna continue on now First cleanup of the new porch or deck, maybe turret, perhaps. Let's just call it a thing. Alright, well, the thing is finished now. I'm pretty satisfied how the thing came out. And overall, I'm pretty happy how it looks. It came out pretty much how I imagined it. I had this thing in mind ever since I started the build. And one year later, here we are. Got a nice deck on this building now I mean I, I mean got a nice thing on this building now kind of play for words there sorry so I guess this kind of wraps up this episode I got the deck finished I achieved what I wanted to achieve so because I don't really have any windows yet I'm still waiting I'm still waiting for that order to be fulfilled the company like two weeks ago sent me an email uh, saying that they're gonna be late with their order blah 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 something like that so I'm still waiting here and I don't really want to continue inside work without the windows so I guess I have to figure out what I'm gonna do next here and I have a couple of ideas so guys thanks for joining me for this episode and see you in the next one bye